Welcome back. This is the time of year a lot of people are looking to spring into shape or maybe even looking ahead already to bathing suit season. Mm -hmm. So we want to help you with your efforts to lose weight. We check back in as we do each month with bariatrician Dr. Julie Swindler of Mer Medical Bariatrics of Lexington. She always has great advice and today we're going to talk about some of the things that are common myths about losing weight, right? Absolutely. We have a lot of questions about that and, um, and, and you're right. Actually, I've always said that March is bikini season. People laugh at me, but <laughs> People start thinking about that with spring really break need to start and now. <laughs> <laughs> Got to get rid of that winter weight now. It's time. It's time. Um, so, so yeah. If we talk about some common myths, we were just talking before this show and about you know exercise weight loss versus nutrition weight loss, and a lot of people have been complaining. I'm exercising a ton, and I don't understand why I'm not losing weight and stuff. Do I really need to exercise to lose weight? And the honest answer is, you do need to exercise for sure, but it's not specifically for the weight loss purposes. Uh, and really it's because there's 3,500 calories and one little pound of fat. Now if you go walk a mile, you'll burn about 100 of those calories. Which means if you just did the math, that means you'd have to be going about 35 miles to lose one pound of fat from wow. exercise alone. Um, but I'll tell you what, I can eat two pieces of cheesecake in under five minutes. <laughs> And that's enough calories for one pound of fat too. So in actuality, nutrition changes are going to be the way to be losing the weight. The reason why we exercise is it does boost your metabolism, it does build muscle, muscle burns fat, and it helps to prevent plateaus. So that's one of the big common ones that we talk about. Um, but a lot of women too are kind of scared if I do start up that exercise, I'm not going to do any type of weights at all because that means I'm going to be um, gaining weight because I'm building muscle mass, so I shouldn't do that. And in actuality, even though the first month the weight might not be quite as friendly because you do build muscle mass, the second month that muscle becomes metabolically active, eats away the fat and then the scale goes down even more as well too. Um, so that's a very common one. One of the biggest ones though that I like people to know, especially in the springtime, if you're going to be changed around that nutrition, you do need to eat though to lose weight. You can't be starving yourself. If you don't eat enough calories, then you're also not going to be losing weight because your body thinks that you're in starvation mode. So it puts the brakes on and tries to preserve you and starts to store the calories rather than burning them. But if you have those small frequent meals that you hear about, your body says, ah, food's all over the place. I will just take what I need and get rid of the rest. So you actually do get better weight loss results with those little meals through the day. I know we talk about that a lot with around holidays with people who say, oh, I'm not going to eat anything all day because I've got a big meal coming up. We've got Easter feast coming up in a few weeks. And um, like you said, it's, it's better to sort of spread things out and get those snacks throughout the day to make sure that your, your metabolism is in a good place. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, and that's what we're all about at MBL because we need to be teaching um, people individually what they need to be taking in because everybody um, is different. There's not one type of thing where you could say, eat this many calories, eat this much protein, eat this much carbs, and you'll be losing weight. Everybody starts at different points, so they have different things they need to be shooting for. Um, and you do need to be watching that. Average American eats a third of the amount of protein that they're supposed to every day, but about four and a half times the amount of carbs. So although you do need some carbs in your diet, it's usually not the amount that we're giving ourselves. <laughs> so uh, that's why we're, we love to tell folks and teach them about what it is that they need to be uh, taking in because it, it's not true that, the, that you can do one thing and lose a weight. It's different for everybody. Well, thank you so much, as always, for giving us some great information. You see the website and the phone number at the bottom of your screen for Medical Bariatrics of Lexington. And Dr. Swindler and a lot of the fine folks out there can help you with your personal weight loss efforts. We'll be right back with the last check of your forecast.